Hello everyone, this is Ron Nutter with another version of, or edition rather, of Tech Bytes with Ron Nutter. I've been silent for several months, but don't think that's going to happen again for a while. I've been working on what has ended up becoming my next book, and I'll show you that now. It's called Making Your Home Work for You, a DIY guide to making your own smart home. This is just a tentative cover I've got up right now. And that's something that may change a little bit, but what really kind of pushed me over the edge at doing it was the recent Consumer Electronics Show in Vegas, where even despite the weather they had, uh, it really started to show that there was a lot of things out there that could make everyone's lives a lot easier. And I'm going to take a little bit different approach on this, and that's suggesting to the nonprofits, to the service organizations that are out there of look at this as a possible project that you can have, not just as a one-time situation, but as an ongoing uh, service project. And that's where you can, to an extent, help automate the home of a handicapped individual or someone who just isn't able to get around real well and and it doesn't have to to cost a whole lot and i'm going to show you just a few things and we'll we'll get into to a little bit more so just just bear with me i think you you really like what you're going to see this is one of the options out there and this is from the folks at sylvania thanks to the folks at sylvania slash led advance for sending some of these to me this has got the potential for as you see it's just a regular screw-in bulb like you're used to having already and now this one, they've got two versions. This is HomeKit only, and then they've got another one that works with one of the other systems that I'll show you here in, in just a few minutes. And it's changing out one light bulb. Well, some people may have already been making the transition to the fluorescent bulbs. I'm one of those that can't use the fluorescent bulb because I get headaches from it. But the LED bulbs don't do that. The LED bulbs also have several other advantages. Number one, they're dimmable. Number two, they pull sufficiently less power because that's something that the fluorescent bulbs had a habit of doing. And that was, if you're turning them on and off frequently, they really weren't meant for that. So they took a lot of power on startup and they had a tendency to get pretty hot where the LED bulbs that I've been working with now for, in some cases, over a year, don't get that warm and they're getting that better all the time. The range of prices can be anywhere from as little as $10 that I found to about $80. And there's a wide range in there, but you, you're, there's also a lot of differences to have. There's also other things coming around. And this also is again from the folks at Sylvania LED Advance. And this is an LED, uh, and excuse me, I'll figure out which side of the package to be pointing to. And as you see, there's just little LED strips. So that's very good for under cabinet lighting in the kitchen. And it can be used for, for other places as well. So there, there are all sorts of things you can do. There are switches, and I think the company's name is Switchmate, that offer you the ability to just put something over an existing switch. You don't have to get into the wiring. You don't have to take any undue risk is you just snap it over it and go on. There's a whole host of options. I've got, I'm looking at one system now from Chamberlain that it is an add-on to the existing garage door opener I've got, which by the way, to Chamberlain's credit, they've done it in such a way that you can use systems other than Chamberlain's. They were, they were thinking outside the box on that one. So if I've gone off and think I've left the garage door up from my trusty smartphone, I can look remotely and see if the door's up. And if it is, one tap on the screen and it's closed. I've got a system in place already, but all it does is simply monitor. And it's not from Chamberlain. It's one I put together myself. And we'll, we'll show you some options here in just a few minutes. But the one of the things that, that really surprised me is when I was moving the studio that I'm using for, for doing these videos, I moved it into a room that did not have a network connection. 
Okay, I could have used wireless, but wireless doesn't always get along with video real well. So I wanted to look at an option where I could have consistently good quality video. And let me reach over here. And this is something I got hold of from Amazon from the folks at TP-Link. And it's two little modules. You pair them up and you plug one in one room, one in another, and you can extend out your network connection. And I'm consistently getting very good file transfer rates with this. And when you get spoiled to having something like Google Fiber, you really want the best bang for the buck, but I knew I wasn't going to be transferring it in your speed. So these were very affordable. There's going to be links in the, in the description where you can take a look at this one. The one thing I will tell you about them. Okay. Two things. Sorry. Is do not plug them in to a surge protector strip. I, I know it's probably your first inclination. Don't do it. Uh, you will have very intermittent connection or it will be very, very slow. I was getting as little as 30 meg transfer speed when I was plugging in one of the devices to uh, an outlet strip that had surge protection. Now, when I initially paired these up, I put them both on the same surge protector strip, so they really weren't going through that circuitry to get out to the network because they were pairing amongst themselves. So that was one thing I did. I paired them very near each other, and they just came right up. They work consistently. I did one other thing, but you'll have to wait to the video that's going to come out on this one and where I really got the performance to to uh, kick into the heels. But it, it's very affordable. These are there's like, like 40 bucks on Amazon. So really, it's, it's, it's very affordable. But you're going to hear things like you're going to need a hub. Well, it's not a networking hub for those of us who are in IT. It's not a networking hub. I can think of it's It's electronics that simply talk from... A device like this, which by the way, these don't really have to have one, but that's a yet another video. I'm not trying to tease you, but I could go, I could be live for several hours going through some of this. And I want to be considered of your time as well as giving this to you in bite sized chunks. And which is another thing. Don't think you've got to be near your laptop to, to do this. And if you don't have a smart TV that's got a streaming receiver built in, Look at getting a Roku. Look at getting an Apple TV. There, there, there's different options out there. I've even got an Nvidia Shield um, that you can look at the content on YouTube or Facebook. So you can look at it on your big screen, but you can still have access to to the show notes. Let's switch over to what I've got on the desktop here, and then we will. Whoops, let me get had too many keys here. I'm going to shift over away from that screen. This shows you the options from the Samsung SmartThing platform. And this is one of the ones that we're going to use. Now this is the starter kit. And this is going to get you an outlet, a proximity or motion sensor, and two multi-purpose sensors. That's what I'm using for my garage door. But again, we'll, we'll go over that later. There are also uh, Philips Hue bulbs. This is the first thing I used when I was with working with Apple's HomeKit platform. Again, now these are a little more expensive to start with, but that's because you're getting the hub and two bulbs, and there's all sorts of package deals. And now this is the one, folks, that I'm really impressed with. This is the uh, the TP-Link system that I really and, and I and I need to have a phone call with the folks at TP-Link. I really did not have high expectations because the early generations of this technology and in defense of TP-Link, it was not their implementation. The early versions of this weren't really that whoopy. I just didn't hear a lot of good things out of them. This one really has just set up and, and just run, which is unusual for technology that, that I've had dealings with to not have to involve a phone call or two to support. So th there is one version of this that will do... Uh, the picture in the picture. I'm sorry, I was hitting another button. There is one that will do full gigabit transfer. I didn't feel I needed that because of the video that I was streaming. I wasn't going to be needing anywhere near that. But again, there, there's all sorts of other videos that you'll be seeing coming down the pike. If you would, 
on here on YouTube, if you would click on subscribe, you will have options within the show notes where if you want to sign up for an email list, I do not sell names or anything like that. This will be a way where as I post other videos, if you happen not to see the notification from YouTube that I've put up a new video, I'll be coming out with updates once a week. I do have to tell you by federal law that some of these links will be affiliate links. It's not going to increase the cost. You would pay for any of these items, but it will, you know, I'll make a small commission on it and that will help my cost of the equipment I've been buying and, and different things that, that I've been trying out. So any, anything that happens in that respect is most appreciated. So there's a lot of potential coming down the road. I've got right now about 90 videos planned. If you are a nonprofit service organization or some individuals who simply want to do something nice for a friend that's you know got some challenges or could help them have a better quality of life, please reach out to me. I'll be glad to do a Skype session with you. And I, if there's enough of you, then I can even look at doing a, a video conferencing setup with the service that I've got access to. But if we all help each other a little bit, this world will be a much better place to, to be. So thank you for your time and watching this. And again, please hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next time.